Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Yondercraft. So, a few quick updates. Um, I spawn-proofed literally the entire top of this mountain uh, over the course of um, right after I recorded last episode. Um, so nothing spawns up here anymore. Uh, it's pretty nice. I will admit. Um, I did lose my voice, but don't worry. I'll find it soon enough. I'm taking a lot of damage. I don't quite know why. Um, and I've also very slowly started uh, taking stuff from all the shulkers and just random chests I had everywhere and putting them in this chest pile. Uh, which, as you know, is the uh, superior storage system. Um, so now we can actually get started with this episode. Uh, and we're not working on the factory or anything around it right now. Um, we're gonna work on the garbage heap, because while this place may look like trash, it doesn't look like trash in the good way. So, what I want to do is I want to get it to look like trash in the way that I want it to. Which is like like this with the storage containers and and the muck and gunk and stuff. Um, usually I would do a time lapse, but I'm feeling a bit more of a montage right now. So I'm gonna gather up the supplies I'll need, and then uh, we'll 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 hit that we'll hit that montage button. This is looking nice. Uh, so I didn't find my voice 
while doing the montage, but I sure did have fun. I haven't added plants yet, just because that's a very careful sort of job, and also I don't have enough. Uh, so I'll probably end up doing that in between episodes, but yeah, this looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Nice and trashy, icky, a little grimy, if you will. It looks like a garbage heap, which is exactly what I intended, especially from this angle. I might uh, do more of the appliances and stuff, uh, but for now I think this is pretty good. Um, which does kind of lead me into my next uh, mission, so to speak. Um, we're gonna grab some rewind crystals. Not to use them, because I don't want to undo that. Um, but because over the course of the server, there's there's some stuff that's been popping up. Uh, I think I'll need about 12, maybe? 12 tops? Um, there, there's some funky stuff that's been popping up. Um, and I'm hoping maybe my rewind crystals can undo it so that the server is normal again. So, uh, let me, let me take you over to what's been popping up. So we're over here in D's starter base, and you can see the trash heap back there. Um, yeah, these towers have been kind of popping up, sort of all over the server. Um, uh, oh, that's new. Um, they, they look, they don't look very friendly, do they? Um, and at first I was kind of ignoring them, because the rest of them are kind of far from the trash heap, but this one... It's just a little too close for comfort, especially with whatever's growing from the bottom. Uh, so my idea was perhaps we can rewind this into something that is less um, overtly threatening. Uh, yeah, see that doesn't look very fr that doesn't look very friendly. I'm not a fan of that. I, I don't like that. Yeah, it wasn't very easy to get up to, and I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get inside of it. I'm, I'm quite sizable, and I do have trouble getting inside places sometimes. Does it even have an entrance? Sometimes these don't have entrances. It doesn't. Um, let me solve that problem real quick. And then... You sorta just... Activate them. <laughs> Um, and that little trick will, uh, sort of make the timeline forget where exactly you were. And you can kind of jump to wherever you want to be. Um, I do have some item frames with me. Uh, we're just gonna... Yeah, rewind. Uh, I hope it works. Um, I'm sick of these things watching me all the time. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, jump out, and we'll go visit the other towers, and you guys can see what's sort of been building up the entire season. <laughs> this one is, uh, by the uh, community farm. Um, I'm gonna do the jump off camera just because they're a little hard. You gotta focus. So let me sneak in real quick. And see, yeah, this one has redstone here. Uh... We'll just point that in that direction and hope. Uh, so this is two towers. Uh, oh my goodness me, I don't know what's going on there, but I really don't like it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna leave. We can see here that uh, this one's a different color. Um, most of the ones I've seen have been dark. Uh, don't know what that means. Why this one is light. Uh... But it's, like, really, really close to the entire spawn district. Um, so I'm going to sneak in here and work in it. See if we can rewind this. Or m maybe if it doesn't rewind, it'll pause. I... How did you get in here? Boy, chick, you're suspicious. If this stuff gets worse, I'm gonna come back. And you're, you're gonna pay, my guy. So, this is sort of the center of three bases. We have blue, egg, and moss in the trees over there. And I'm not seeing a tower. 
which I think is good. But also that begs the question, why is Spawn and the community farm, and also me, being observed? I don't get it, and I don't like it. I, I don't. This lovely area belongs to Null and Arrow, and there are no towers in here. Which again begs the question, why is it me, Spawn, the community farm, that's getting watched? I don't understand. So, uh, I don't actually know where anyone else lives besides Spawn. Uh, a few of us stayed in our starter bases, and I'm one of them. Uh, but there's no other towers, which means there's not as many towers as I thought there were. Which is good. Less less suspicious. Um, and what that means is we can move on to the second uh, sort of part of the episode. Because uh, I do still have another job to do. Alright, so we're back at the log shop. Uh, I've already taken the liberty of putting all the wood in. It's not a particularly, oh my goodness me, entertaining thing to watch. Uh, we're going to collect profits. Uh, this, this has been perhaps my most profitable venture of every single shop I have ever owned. Um, I don't think I've gone mining for diamond. Goodness me. It's Alcova. I don't think I've gone mining for diamonds once this season. It has all been the log shop. Now we have wonderful new additions that I will point out as soon as we've collected all of the wonderful profits. Okay, so this is Palo Verde. Uh, it doesn't have a sign yet because I don't have oak signs. This is Acacia. It doesn't have a sign yet because I don't have signs. And those are the two logs that I was missing from the shop. Uh, so now let's check the mushroom half of things. Mushrooms don't sell as well, which I'm glad for because a lot of them are very uh, tedious to get. It takes a lot of bone meal. Uh, and I don't actually have a bone farm. Every time I've needed bone meal, I go to the community farm. But it looks like we haven't made any sales there. So from one log shop profits run, we have 37 diamonds. Um, keep in mind that I think at the moment there's only about 10 players-ish active. Uh, because a lot of... Or, who are frequently active because a lot of us have college and shops. Uh, I don't... gotta love that. Um, so anyways, I think we're gonna call it here for today. So I'd like to thank y'all for watching. If you're part of the morning crew, hope you have a great day. If you're part of the evening crew, hope your day has been great. And if you're part of the afternoon crew, well I hope your day is going alright. I've been Ruby Robotic and I'll catch y'all in the next episode.